JSON, also known as JavaScript Object Notation. What is it? It's a file format, uh, meaning that it is something like .html, .js, .json. It identifies the contents within using, a, using an extension. Um, so what we can expect to find inside of a JSON file is a number, a string, a boolean, an object, an array, or a null. And it's important for me to say, you can find anything inside of a JSON object, but it doesn't make it valid. In order for it to be valid, it must be one of the aforementioned types. Um, now, it's important for me to give you the reason to use JSON. JSON is commonly used for uh, asynchronous browser to server calls um, or communication, browser to server communication. And um, the reason for that is because JSON is a serializable or mar like capable of being marshaled uh, format. So what that, I'll have another video about that, but to very basically explain it, it means taking something like a complex data structure, like an object or an array, and turning it into something simple, simple, simple enough to be transferred through a uh, through a network, and in an easy, in like a minimal and easy way. So you can actually just maybe think of it like it's sending a string of data, rather than sending like the data, the data type of like object or array instead it's just saying the string which is easier to break down into bytes so that being said it's easy to trans you can serialize it or marshal it so it's easy to send across a network and that's why it's used for browser server communication and most modern programming languages now let's kind of imagine the scenario right before i tell talk about that I have, a JS I have a JavaScript project, a web app, and my web app wants to communicate with a server. That server has a JSON file on it, okay? And I would like to um, get that JSON into, into my app. I, there's some information on that server that I want. It's in the form of JSON, I want it. So I make a request. I say, hey, get me that JSON file. Now, what I'm going to get is serialized JSON or a string of data, uh, you know, string of JSON. My, my, uh, my J JavaScript project is going to not, is not going to understand that JSON to be the original data that it was meant to be. For example, let's say it was an object, right? It's going to see it as a string. So I need to use what most modern programming languages have, which is the uh, a function, a built-in function, which can parse the JSON and evaluate the JSON. And uh, as I mentioned, most modern languages have the ability to do that. They also have the ability, if I wanted to send data JSON back to the server, have the ability to uh, to run it through a function, which then makes it serializes it and makes it capable of being sent to that server. Um, <clears throat> So that's really the major parts about to know about JSON. Um, an interesting side fact. All, JSON is language agnostic, can be used in many, many programming languages. I think all modern programming languages have the ability to use to kind of make use of it. So what's interesting to me is originally it was considered to be a subset of the JavaScript language. It was meant to be directly connected and almost exclusive but it wound up not being the case. Instead, um, it actually has some problems when it works with J JavaScript. Um, and just like a quick example is using uh, emojis, right? If you include an emoji like the, it, which is a NUT F8, I believe, or 16 or eight or one of them. If, uh, if you include an emoji, it's a secret, you know, it's a character. It's a, I'm sure, it's a, uh, you can include the emoji using like a, sequence of characters. And usually you have to escape them in JavaScript. You have to escape the characters in JavaScript in order to have them work. In J JSON, it's still valid if you don't escape the characters. So if my J JavaScript uh, project or my, my web app in JavaScript gets that, 
unescaped sequence of characters. It's not going to see it as the emoji. It's going to see it as the, as the sequence of characters. And that is a problem, as you can see. Just one of the few problems that you can have with JSON and JavaScript. Anyway, taking up too much of your time. Thank you.